Online with the drive, double-click the control panel listing under commissioning in the project tree. The control panel opens at the bottom of the screen. Click the Assume Control Priority button. A pop-up warning box opens warning that the drive will be controlled remotely and safety rules must be observed. Click Accept to continue. The Control Priority button changes to Give Up Control Priority. Because Control Panel now has Control Priority, no enables are currently active as can be seen at the bottom left of Control Panel. If these features are not viewable on your screen, there are icons circled in red on the screen next to the Help button that turn Diagnostic and Control Areas on or off. Click the Enables checkbox. Click the green I button to start the drive. Note that the drive starts but does not rotate because a speed reference has not been entered. Enter a speed reference and press the Enter key. The motor rotates and the diagnostic areas show the speed and torque reference and actual values. There are also selectable values plus motor current and torque utilization shown. These areas are circled in red on the screen. Circled in green is a slider that allows you to vary the speed from 0 to 200% of the speed reference you entered. Clicking the Diagnostic button opens the Missing Enables window in the main starter working area. Because the drive is running without problems, the Missing Enables screen shows that all enables are available. Click the red Off button to stop the drive. Note the Missing Enable screen now shows that Off 1 Enable is missing and that the speed controller is inhibited, a normal state when the drive is stopped. To exit Control Panel, you must first give up Control Priority or the drive will not respond to normal operational commands. Click the Give Up Control Priority button. The warning pop-up appears warning that control will now come from the original source and to assure it is safe to return to that control method. Click Yes to return control to the original source. 